This is a really gorgeous crowd. Yes. You guys have your Ardells on. Yes. <laughs> some familiar faces, mm -hmm. some not familiar faces. We're so excited very exciting. because I know you guys already know Seamless Underlash Extensions is out and have gotten your hands on the Wispies or Foam Ink, but we're so excited because there's new there's new styles to add to the collection. We have um, a 3D Foam Ink style, light as air, and of course we had to do it a naked. Mm -hmm. Um, we, this wouldn't be possible. The, you guys make these lashes our best-selling collection, so this is really for you guys. Absolutely, and it's great to have these to pair with the styles that we already mm -hmm. love so much. So we're familiar yeah. with how they look, and then you mm -hmm. have a completely different option with the underlash extensions. So, so the wispies and the foam ink, when um, we launched them, they're a good medium glam lash, right? Mm -hmm. So we went a little more natural for the naked, for someone who wants more natural. And then we stepped it up and launched 3D Foam Ink and Light as Air. And I'm wearing the Light as Air right now, mm -hmm. and I have to tell you, they're probably the lightest, but more on the voluminous side of all of the styles. They've got a little, they got a little yeah. drama. They're really, really pretty, but then they weigh like... You can stack these yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna. Them. So we're gonna show you guys, um, you know, how we like to apply it to make your lives easier when you apply it on yourselves or your clients. Again, I'm Jade. I've been a professional makeup artist in LA for many years, and I've been an Ardell ambassador, and I also consult with them on product development and all their creative projects. Amazing. And then the sought-after celebrity artist oh, next to me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Uh, my name is Anton. I've been a celebrity makeup artist here in Los Angeles for a long time, about 15 years, and I'm just really excited to be here with the brand and to show these to y'all because we love them. I, and we've been trying to work with you, and honestly, Anton and, and now has it's been, like now it's happening. Now it's like moving. He's been using Ardell, I think, since the day he started. Since before I started. <laughs> no, literally, like Ardell's always been my go-to brand, and, and I feel like they're, they've always been so supportive of the professional artist community. So it's yeah. just it's just cool to do this with you guys mm -hmm. because it's a brand that I love and that I believe in. So yeah. we're gonna show you some oh, tricks. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and applying these undies under have become like my go-to application now, even when I wear them daily. The remover is so gentle, like even if I wanna switch up the style the next day, it's so easy to take off. So you don't have to keep them on for up to 10 days, but they're so great because if you have clients that wanna keep them on like you, right? Right they get to keep them on after it's the nice event. It's nice because I can do an event with somebody and maybe the next day they're taking their kid to a basketball game or something and they want to keep their lashes on. I'm like, well, just do a really gentle eye makeup remover. You know, be mindful of what you're doing. Give them a good pinch and at night and then again in the morning and yeah. you can have lashes the next day. And so, if you're doing them on yourself, you could just, if you're going on vacation or, yeah, you know, super Coachella. Easy. Yeah, <laughs> super easy. And if you don't want to wear liner and you don't want to fuss with mm -hmm. eye makeup, you could just, you know, throw a, literally, you could throw a few of these on and be done mm -hmm. with it and feel finished, which I love, which is great for events too, for me. Okay, so we're gonna have three beautiful models to demo on for you guys today. And we're gonna start with our first model, Haley. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Yes, you ready? She's like, I need my lashes. I feel <laughs> naked. <laughs> Okay, so Haley has this examine her eye shape, you know, really nice, pretty almond-shaped eyes, which means she can pretty much use any style. So we're going to go for the most va va voom of the three new styles, which is our 3D foam ink. Yes. She could take that lash. She can, she can handle <laughs> it. So I just, I'm looking at her lashes, I'm making sure, you know, they're nice and curled. Because that's like the key, right? It's like if you have straight lashes and the lash is like at a C curl or whatever curl extensions are, you're fighting with this straight point. So if your lashes are curled, the lash is curled, it's almost like spooning the lash and it goes on seamlessly. So her lashes are naturally curled, so I don't have to go in and curl. Otherwise, I would curl the I would curl my lashes first, or I would curl, you know, the client's lash first, just so they're sitting up, and it gives me like a good view of her waterline, because that's not where you want to put them, you want to put them right on the roof. So step one, you know, curl your lashes if they are straight. And it's nice too, because when you start applying these, just like with any lash, like it's gonna, it's gonna have a little bit of weight, and it's gonna come mm -hmm. down. So if you have a good curl, you're gonna lose a little bit of it anyways, so. So let me just show the camera which ones we're gonna apply on her today. Do I have to move forward or do... <laughs> I 
I can go into the lens, but or is this good? I could go so to the lens So these are the too. 3D foam ink. So the foam ink ones that already launched, you can just see they're a little less voluminous. Yep. Same style pattern, tapered tips, light, dimensional, um, but they just have more fiber. So if you're someone or have a client that's looking for something a little bit more, it's like you don't have to staff these. This is it. That's what's nice is you can you can use a few pieces and be done mm -hmm. with it. So you don't feel like it's this huge it's undertaking that you have to go through, which I love. These are gonna look cute on you. So first cute already, is the bond. Be extra cute. <laughs> oh, and then again, her lashes are clean. They're makeup free. She does have makeup on, but we made sure to get dust off any eyeshadow or any you know oils or anything on her lashes. So they're nice and clean. If you do want these to stay on, like say you're going on vacation, just do it without any makeup because you can't get them wet for 24 hours. So it's it's just working harder when you have to like wash around it like mm -hmm. just put them on on a day when you're at home or if your client's not doing anything and just so they can be at home without taking a shower or washing their face right. for 24 hours to really let that bond set in so we're gonna go in with the bond side which is um black tone i like to bend it a little just because mm -hmm. it gives me like a better angle mm -hmm. going in up into the lash versus me fighting against the lash so I'm gonna, what's better for camera? This one? Okay. Um, look down, I always have a client look down and then I lift the eyelid. And then I just start right there, just wiggle it in the root. Don't go all the way to the tips. Cause just like mascara, it makes the tapered, natural taper of our natural lash straight, right? Then it looks too um, blunt. And you want it to blend into the, the undie. Yes, an undie. It's, the that's undies. what we call the extensions. <laughs> it's the naughty version of underlash extensions. So Jade, you go about, you were telling me earlier about the width of a mascara wand, a disposable mm -hmm. mascara. So like a third from the base to... Yes. This wand is great because it's about a millimeter. It's teeny, it's great. But it was designed so that that's kind of the measurement of how much blonde you go up the lashes. Right. Like, so if the wand was too big, it would put too much, right? right? So that's why it's nice and... Small. And it's it's interesting because the first time I used it, I didn't even realize it was black toned until I got in there because mm -hmm. there's just such a nice sheerness to it. And I think it's such a user friendly bond. It's really easy to use. Okay, let me see. We're gonna design her lash. We're gonna chart it out. We love a chart. So I think I'm just gonna go, you know, a little bit flare at the ends and just maybe keep it long in the middle and then taper it down. So I'm not gonna the lengths go like 10, 12, 14, 16. I'm not gonna go like real even, like 16, 14, 12, 10. I think I'm gonna just go like 14 and 12 and more 12s and then a 10. Yeah. You have good a good natural base to work with, so it's really gonna support the this style. Okay, always pull from the root just to avoid pulling the fiber. Oh, let me put this yep. here. Oh. <laughs> I'll be Again, I'll lift her eyelid and then I come in from under. Oh, maybe I'm gonna pull up. I'll just one pinch. And then I'll just go along the lash line like that. You see? Oh, so pretty. People are so also good. just using these as accents on the end, which mm -hmm. is great, because if you just want that cute little cat eye flare, you can do it with this. They work really well that way if you just do I mean, even two or so three fast. on the outside. Look at that, so quick. So easy. Let's do more, so. Again, I'm avoiding the waterline and right on the root, right where her lashes start to grow out. Let's go 12 now. I love these refill packs too because there's no left or right. You can just kind of go for it and not be worried about Perfect. it. Perfect. And then I'm just going to hit that inner corner with a 10 to just blend everything in. There we go. So that eye is done, that fast. I mean, I have to follow that. 
<laughs> I was pretty good, Jane. <laughs> so I'm not gonna go in and pinch it yet, because you can go in and pinch, and then you go in with the seal, and then pinch again. But what I have found to be the best, easiest, most efficient way to even be even faster at this is if you get a little seal on the applicator like this. Oh. So I'm sealing and pinching at once. So I love it that. cuts out all going back and forth, you know, and opening this and like. I love that. That's a great idea. So, See, this is why I wanted you to go first. <laughs> so then I lift the eye and then I just. Because she's the master. A little pressure. That's a great idea. And you don't need much seal because you don't right. want it the lash to look like it's coated with clear mascara, right? Then it gives it the wet look and then it changes the style for what we developed to look for. Yeah. The seal should just be if you have if you got a little bit too much adhesive when you blink like this, if you feel it sticky, sticking to your bottom lashes. So that's why you just gotta hit it at the 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 base. So when you blink you don't feel that stickiness. That's amazing. And if you go through with the seal, you're almost going to get like a brow jelly kind of, mm -hmm. yeah, which you don't necessarily need that. And that's all you need. Look in the camera. Let me see that. Before and after. I mean. <laughs> so sexy. So hot. So good. <laughs> that was the missing piece to your look right now. Okay. Mm. So then since I put seal, right, and I'm gonna go in and do her other eye, I need to clean this. And there's so many different ways to clean this so we don't cross contaminate or you know, give ourselves pink eye. Um, Ardell makes a great brush cleaner that also sanitizes and takes off anything sticky. You can go ahead and use just alcohol, mm -hmm. spray it on a little cotton pad. You could use sanitizing wipes, hand sanitizer. Um, so yeah, all those work to take off the product on the applicator. Because you will find that it gets sticky. Because the bond is so sticky, it doesn't, it doesn't set dry, like it stays tacky for that 24 hour period. That's why it's important you don't wet it, right? Because it's a slow yeah. setting adhesive, so it really locks in the lash to lash ad application. Okay, so now it's good. Go like that, test it out, it's not sticky. I'm gonna go back to that bond on this eye. Okay. Again, you don't even have to double dip. There's enough, when you pull it out once, it, there's enough mm -hmm. for the eye. And this is a less is more kind of situation. Yes, because sure. it's not like the more bond you put, the more stronger it's gonna be. The more trouble this, you're in. This glue is like so strong with just one coat. Mm -hmm. And you're doing the adhesive all the way across in one shot versus working. I, I am, working. but yeah. if you are heavy-handed or it's you know still a beginner at it, it's because I've been I've already been playing with these for so long, and right. I even wear them myself almost daily. That I already know how much to put on. But in the beginning, you know, start with bond, and then a, and then an undie, and then bond, then undie, like so forth. I think I'm going to take that path just to show the difference. Again, I'm using the width of the wand. That's where I'm putting it on the lash. So I'm not bringing it up. I'm not bringing it up like we would mascara. And I just kind of dab through, okay? And then again, I just did 14s, three 14s, a 12 and a 10. So that was her little lash chart we did on her. So let me already take these off. It's nice to have that chart in mind, especially when you get one side done, because then you, it's not overwhelming. You're like, okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna use and where it's gonna go. And once you find a version that looks good, you can just go for it. It's always easier when you lift the eye because when they start lifting their own eye and you get in there, sometimes it, they blink and then it. Take control of their eyelid. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> yeah. of, you take control of it. We don't want them to be in control of it. Sorry, put it too close. 
because the adhesive is not quick drying, you have time. If you feel like what I did, I accidentally put it too in the inner corner, mm -hmm. which will probably start irritating. I have time to take it off and redo it. Mm -hmm. How much time would you say you have typically with this adhesive? Because I feel like it's not super fast, but it's no, not slow you have either. No, a good five, ten minutes okay, before that's fair. it starts to really set. And that's good to know. A little wiggle room in case you have to move a piece. Mm -hmm. Get my sealer on my applicator again. Like so. I'm just gonna go in and reach down. That's a great trick. I'm obsessed with that. I'm just always in a rush, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm always late, so <laughs> I try to find ways to do things faster and catch up with <clears throat> time. But yeah, that looks so pretty. There's just a little ridge right there. Let me get that. Oh no, it's a sealer blob. Okay. Beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. Perfect. So pretty. And seamless just really accentuates people's eye shapes. Like, because you're going along your lash line, you're not really manipulating it. And you don't, like you said, you don't need eyeliner. That was like the one mm -hmm. thing you noticed you kind of get that defined effect, right? It's almost like tight lining. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's nice to not feel pressure to use multiple products mm -hmm. when you want to do a lash. This is a great way to just be like, oh, I could just put these on by themselves yeah. and they're gonna look amazing. I don't have to do anything else. Let me see. I mean, yeah. So pretty. Beautiful. Amazing. It's that easy. Um, <laughs> thank you. Yes. Thank you for letting us use your eyes. Yeah, perfect. I gotta follow Jay. That's just mean. Because <laughs> that was amazing. I'm super excited because we're gonna do the light as air mm -hmm. on our next girl. So, like I said, we're gonna go with the light as air. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking same sizes, which is nice 10, 12, 14, and 16. I think maybe we start with a couple 14s, a couple 12s. Mm -hmm. See how we do. Mm -hmm. go she has an almond eye, but it's a small almond eye. Right. But she has a not, lot no, of. It's not a bad it's not thing. A bad thing but you have stunning. a lot of lid space, which means that it won't hit your eyebrows, even the longest like length. You know, so you can pull it off. But it's really going to open up your eyes, these lashes, because it lifts them up and lifts your natural lashes up and defines that nice waterline. And this is a great, this is a great style for that because mm -hmm. it's going to give that beautiful lift, but it's going to be really yeah. nice and seamless. Okay, and she's pre-curled, we're ready. No, I know, I keep, I keep um, avoiding that light. Okay, go ahead and look down. So I'm actually just gonna add a little bit of adhesive to, I would say, enough for me to get two clusters on there because I wanna show the difference. Wow, I could see the three-quarter angle right now. <laughs> it's oh, beautiful. Yeah. One little trick too I like is you can push kind of in the middle of the undie from underneath mm -hmm. and then kind of use your finger to sort of push upward, if you guys can see that, because then you're avo avoiding the adhesive, but it's a way to kind of give it a little bit of a seal before you yeah. actually do the pinch. So you're like, cupping like the right. lash right. getting in there. Yeah. Well, and like you said, like it spoons the lash, which how cute is that? <laughs> Typically I start all the way on the end, but sometimes I like to start one over from the very end because I've been in a situation oftentimes where I go too far over and then it's pulling down a little bit. So I like to go to that kind of outside third. Does that make sense? That makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Just so you kind of see where it's landing. 
And even if you went back to that end and that cluster was too wide, you could go ahead and trim it to fit that section. Absolutely. And and I know that that could be intimidating for the person, but you always, yeah. you know, if you're doing it on yourself, then you know. But as a makeup artist, I always reiterate that this is, I'm like, this is literally a foot away from your natural lashes. So don't worry, I got it, you know. When we develop these undies, we take that into account. Like, what if someone needed to cut them? So all of the styles, you're able to cut them in half, you know, half and a half, and it's not going to compromise the lash pattern. So that's what's really great and what's different compared to competitors is like sometimes you cut it and you ruin the style. Mm. All of our undies, you can cut them anywhere and it, you still get the effect that it's made to do. So now um, I'm moving on to a 12. I'm trying to keep my shadow out of this. So then I'm gonna push up from underneath in the middle and then kind of use the end to give myself a little bit of, how does that feel? Good. Feels light as air, right? It looks right? so pretty. <laughs> it was so, so available to me. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. Even the bands on Ardell's you know, seamless collection, they're thinner than any other brand. So you can really stack them. You don't feel them. You don't feel the corners poking on the outer or the inner, which is probably like a number one thing with like even a strip lash, right? It's that corner that clients complain about. Always that inner corner yeah. where something's poking me, is mm -hmm. it? But it is, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, 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 always, that's always something that we have yeah. to be, I mean, you don't want to feel a lash at all. I always mm -hmm. say like, if you could feel it at all, it needs to mm -hmm. move, it needs to be trimmed, something needs to happen. So. These are great because considering they're going underneath. Yeah, it's really light. Really, really light. And they always look longer when you look at them in the tray, but you have to remember when it's being applied under the lash, it's working harder. So you need, you know, it needs a little more length, right? To get from root to tip versus like just putting it on top of our, our natural lashes, like strips, it just, it, what you see how it looks in the box is sometimes what it looks like on. With these, it's, it's more natural than what it seems. <laughs> right. So you can use the longer ones, don't be afraid. Let me see. Just to see what it looks like. Jade, I might switch this, with you for like, this last one. This profile view, it's like... It's pretty, right? Let me yeah, switch with you it. for this last corner and then for this side. Yeah, because now I can... That looks so good, even just it's, as an accent, you it's, guys. It's pretty even as right? an accent. I think 110 will like it really, really pull it together. And like snatched the corner of her eyes. It gives like a really cool... Mm -hmm. Lift, so I it goes think, with your vibe. I love it. I'm feeling this. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And I love, I, I love that you can use these more in kind of like a three quarter uh, capacity. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sorry. Or like I have friends who, with the Wispies are foaming, they were using just the 10s and 12s, and now they're like, Jada, you need more 16s? And I'm like, whoa, who are you? And right. like they, they're, you know, they're, they're getting used to the shorter lengths and they're stepping it up because they're realizing how light it is for a long lash. It feels like nothing. Mm -hmm. Karina in the back loves those 16s. Jade, I did your trick with the seal. Right, it's and I'm just kills two birds with one stone. Beyond, I mean, it really does. How does that feel? Light as air. <laughs> <laughs> See, that second time I forgot, you know, that I was quizzing you the first I time. I think I'm a light as air um, girly They're now. They're really cool. Because I've been wearing these and they feel lighter than the wispy that I was, you know, would swear by. For life. Isn't that interesting? I mean, mm -hmm. we always have our favorites, but then we go yeah. back to, you know, we, we, we try something else. Mm -hmm. Let me clean this off first so we can move on to the next eye here. 
Yeah, and I feel like if there's any buildup on the tool at all on your mm -hmm. applicator, it's gonna, you're gonna have that problem that I had when I first started using these where I'm applying it and then it comes with me. Yeah. And I'm trying to apply it and then it's coming with yeah. me. And that's but because- But it's because we forget, We right? forget too. We forget, and so, like, and oh wait, let me wipe it before, but it's like, try to remember, maybe every one or two, wipe it clean and then pick up the next undo. Right, and then when we're moving and doing, or especially as makeup artists, you know, you, you forget to do those oh, little yeah. in between steps that would have actually made the process yeah. a lot Because you just want to flow, like you're trying to yeah. get the look done and you're like, wait. You're trying to get it done, you're yeah. trying to get Get, you know, everyone's looking at you like, can we, can we, can we finish this up, please? But you know, we can't rush. Mm -hmm. Well, the good thing is can't the applicator rush, does come by itself. So if you need an extra pair, you don't have to buy the kit anymore. It has, we have it sold separately. Which is amazing. I love these mm -hmm. refill packs. It's so good. So the Light is Air and the 3D Foam Ink Lashes only come as a refill style. Um, so if you, you know, you've tried our Wispies or our Foam Ink, keep the bond, keep the sealer, keep the remover and the applicator, and you just have to go get the refills. But there's enough, um, like, formula in here of bond and seal to get you through, I don't know, maybe 20 packs of, of refills. So you don't have to buy a new one a new bond every time, keep the same one, especially if you're applying it on yourself. But if it's on a client, you know, you would buy the kit because you want to give them the remover and the applicator because if they're going to keep it on, they need that applicator to pinch every morning to go about their day to just reinforce those lashes. And then, you know, if they're not available to go get a removal, they could just do it at home. It's really safe to just um, remove the lashes themselves. It's so true, you need mm -hmm. the tool. And you can't really yeah. do it with a tweezer or with something else. No. Like you really need something that fits mm -hmm. the contour of the eye, especially when you're doing the, like the maintenance pinches. Yeah. That's, that's really important. Cause for this lash, you don't want something sharp, right? Cause we're going right. under. We don't want to poke someone's eye out or your own eye out. Mm -mm. So it's nice and curved, the tip of this applicator. I won't poke you, I swear. <laughs> I never tried to look from the top and go. It's because I'm always like lifting, you know. I think it's I don't just. Try like that. I, I think it just depends on what you're comfortable with yeah. because the the undies have that nice baseline, so you could kind of see. You see that the definition. You see the definition, yeah. and you see you see looking through the top. It's like. I know I'm avoiding, if I could see the base of it, then I know I'm avoiding the waterline, which mm -hmm. is really important because that's yeah. the last thing you want to do is get it mm -hmm. too far back because mm -hmm. you don't look like you feel anything. And that's what I'm trying to do see. here. Wow. Yeah. Cute, right? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get one you look more. sultry. She's <laughs> cute. Straight down. Try to get one more in there. Sometimes I'll grab it, I don't know how visible this is, but I'll grab it from the point uh, with the applicator because it's easier to get into oh, the in. very corner. Yeah. Otherwise you're hitting that nose bridge. And then I can like kind of follow my last one. Oh, see, mm -hmm. came with me. But it's something that yeah, I might wipe this off and then do Here, a new a clean one. Oh, one. perfect. Because that's that's when <laughs> you know. Have that extra one handy. Yeah, it's nice to have the extra one handy. Especially I mean, our kits, you know? I feel like I always put things down and I'm like, where did I put the tweezer or whatever? And I'm like, oh, it's good to have extra. I think it's, it's easier that way too than to worry about actually having to clean it every single time. Yeah, then you could just clean everything at the end. The silence. I know. Don't because breathe. Because that last one. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. <laughs> it's so funny. It's pretty, right? How's that? How's that going? How's that looking? Yes. Yes. You know. 
<laughs> this is fun. It's always fun when you have a new kind of product to play with, especially mm -hmm. on yourself as a makeup artist, because this opens a lot of a lot of doors. You know, I feel like with um, eye makeup and makeup artistry, one thing that I tend to, you know, I'm doing this like beautiful shadow, and I get really excited about it. And then I get to the mascara and it looks so good. And I'm like, oh gosh, I don't know what's gonna happen with this lash situation yeah. because I would have rather done, done it a different way or done it how mm -hmm. I wanted to. But this is one of those products that kind of relieves that yeah. portion where you know it's just gonna look seamless. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's why we're here, yeah. right? And what's great is not only do you not need um, eyeliner, but you also don't need mascara. And that's why your client can keep them on. And when they go in and bow and wash the rest of their makeup, they're not going to get raccoon eyes. Mm hmm Right. Get this very corner. But if they are eyeliner wear wearers, the bond will not come off if they have to go in there and use a makeup you know, remover, wipe, or whatever to get their liner off at night. I might give that other side one more quick pinch as well. It's nice because it gives it like an instant lift too when you do that again, mm -hmm. which is why if people are gonna keep them on, I encourage to, you can do it, you can do it several times just to make sure that they're yeah. staying nice. Or I'll out. even take the full lash curler and go in and just pump like once or twice to just really pump them up. And because I have straight lashes again. Oh, for sure. I get my lashes lifted, but if I don't, like I said, you have to curl them before you put the bond. But go back in there and, and curl them one last that's, time. That's a great idea. When do yeah. you feel like it's a good time to do that? It's gonna come down. With the like after you get At them the on. End. So when you're done, maybe mm -hmm. give it a minute and then huh? give them like a curl. So maybe yeah. we'll maybe we'll little, do that little after. Push up, little I love that action. because it's gonna it's gonna pull everything together <laughs> yeah. and make it look really mm -hmm. extra seamless. We are going to use the new naked kit on her. Okay, I'm I'm so really obsessed yes. with these. If you're obsessed with nakeds or you have a client that's obsessed with nakeds, they're gonna love these. So you can see the difference even again in volume, right? There's there's not that many fibers on the naked and they're a little bit more um, curled, but not unison curled. They're a little bit more like, right, like multi-curled. It's, like it's not like a solid C curl, yes. but it's got mm -hmm. like a multi-dimension. It looks like yeah. a natural curl. Just like curled, what our wispies look like. Right. I mean, naked, sorry. It looks like a natural yeah. curled lash. And what's great about these is that they're super light and natural because you can stack them to really get that naked effect. So that's what I'm gonna do on our model next is I'm gonna go across her eye with one layer and then show you guys how to build up your own naked style. Exciting, <laughs> those are ready to go. Okay, let me see. Well, her lashes are straight, so I'm gonna have you curl them, okay? Not too much, just a little bit. So let me give you the little curler in the mirror. Will you just curl them for me really quickly while I prep this? When the Naked Lashes came out, I was that was a game changer for me, especially for events, for red carpets. Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful. So I haven't even gotten to play with these yet, yeah. so I'm really excited. And I just think that, I mean, even for just a super natural yep, look, perfect. you could use a few of these and yeah. be done with it. The band on the naked, if you look at it, it's almost micro. It's you, nothing. You would think they're an invisible band, but it's like the finest, thinnest yeah. black cotton thread we could find in the world. It is, it's almost yeah. like a, it's like a thread. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's incredible. Okay, let me see your eyes. Let's see what we're gonna do. So you have a monolid eyelid, so we're gonna bring that length in the center to really mm. open up your eyes. So in this case, we're not gonna go long to short, we're gonna go like medium, long, short. I love it, yeah. that's one of my favorites. And favorite. then I'm gonna stack like another medium in between the short and the medium. Ooh. I'll show you. <laughs> the thing. I love that length in the middle. I, on, yeah, I think it's so beautiful. I think it's a very underestimated way to wear out. lashes. As much fun as on there, the width of the applicator. Okay. Now, we're going to take the lashes and a clean applicator. And we'll start with uh, 12, not 14, not the longest one. Amazing. And I'm just gonna pull that right up. Okay. And then I'm gonna take 
take a 14 and start building inward. Because we don't want to close her eye, right? We want to open it up. I love that already. So 12 to 14. Yeah, and then a, a 12 again. Oh, amazing. And then I'll take a little 10 in the inner corner. That's so pretty. Oh, sorry. Uh, totally, right? And it's, I find that it's, it's harder to find that lash that has that strength in the middle that you're gonna love, you know? So it's, a, it's, it's great that you could just do mm -hmm. it yourself because that's one of my favorite styles with that. I think it's very, so I'm just Very gonna gorgeous. add a 12 in between that 14 and 12, because you want to stack them like almost like a brick house, right. not right on top of the other cluster because it doesn't blend. It just looks too um, oh, blunt, right? I so see. you want to put it in between that. It's almost like it's gonna be just two of them in one spot, and you don't want that. Yeah, you want so them I'm to kind of stagger. Go in between a little bond, you don't need that much because it's naked. Oh, sorry, the inner corner keeps falling because I didn't pinch it yet. And then you get the 14. And then we're gonna just put that in between. Actually, yeah, this is better. Let me do it. And it just looks fuller. That's really pretty. In the outer corner. So you added- It almost looks like, if you're familiar, like a 425, yeah. 422. Mm -hmm. So you added a little bond on top of the undies. Yes, and then on the you, undies, yeah. because you want to stick that of in between. Of course, I love that. So let me take a little sealer again. That is really pretty. Oh, that's tight. I'm gonna open that one. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. So if I don't put on the applicator, the way you would do it was just go in, but I would just wiggle it in kind of at the root. Because again, you don't want to coat it like a clear mascara, right? It's just like getting it in there. But it's like working harder. Right. Versus so, like doing this so much faster. Right, right, right. Be done with it. But it's if you're going to use it directly, it's kind of the same concept as the bond. You're just kind of going like one quarter or one third. You're not going all the way through. Mm -hmm. So avoid getting that seal all the way to the tips. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Oh my god, that looks so good. I mean, yeah. Pretty, it's spiky, it's not, I don't use the word messy, but it's natural. Looking. No, it has texture. Yeah. Like it has beautiful, like natural texture. And I love the spikiness. It just opened spikiness. up her eyes from the outer corner up here. Right. Let me see. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, let's do the other side. And her lashes, again, are super straight, so it was so important for me to have her curl them first. Otherwise, I'd be fighting with her lashes with the lash band. So again, look down, a lift. Fresh, she's ready. <laughs> okay, again, we're starting like with the we, 12. We do that so often as artists, we hold our breath. It's just, it's just a thing, especially with lashes. Oh, I got it, okay. See, I got a little bond on her bottom. She blinked. Don't wipe it yet. You know, like mascara, you wipe it. <laughs> let it, let it set oh. and then clean it after. Okay, Don't amazing. do it yet. That's, that's good to Don't know. Don't try and remove it just yet. Go Pretty. back to get my bond. 
so much work. Just kidding. So fast, so easy. So fast. And then I'm just gonna hit it again in between. I mean, you remember? blew through that side. That was crazy. <laughs> It's cool too, because once you once you nail one side, you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's you because just, you already know the lengths, right? The first right. eye, you're like, do I want to? You have time to like still redesign your chart. Right. The you're, second eye, you're just mimicking everything. So I'm like, oh, 14, 12, 10. A hundred percent. Like the first side, you're 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 being your own artist, which we love, and then the second side, you're, you're just like, I'm like, a okay. pro. Uh, it's it's just biz it's all business. By the time you get to the second eye, you're ready to just knock it out. Okay, let me seal in, and then I'm gonna wipe off that glue I got in your bottom eye with the remover. And that's pretty much the only thing that's gonna take this off. You can, you know, look in your vanity for some oil on the Q-tip, but you have a remover in the kit. Just right. use that to get off any excess bond that gets on the skin. Yeah. So it's not only to get the lashes off, it's to also be corrected with it. Okay. So pretty. So good. This one's turning a little bit. Oh, there you go. Okay, let me get to the remover. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. Look up, look up. I'm just gonna let it sit for about 15 seconds. Because you don't wanna smear it. Oh, you got one. Right off. Oh, super easy. So let it dry. Mm -hmm. Don't freak out. Yeah, it's like mascara. You know how like it's easy to flake yeah. it off. Then when it wet mascara, it's like. Ugh. Yeah, I know. This thing, like, yeah, you, you got to let it dry all the way, and yeah. then it comes right off. But see. pretty beautiful. I now love your it. eyes look open. And again, because you put that length in the middle for a monolid eye, it's not it's not falling under the. It's not getting lost. Right. Right. Yeah. You have that nice curl and lift, but it's yes. the, the very textury. Yes, the curl on the naked are great because you really get that multi-curled, layered, lightness, natural look that we love. I love it. All right. How does it feel? Yes. Oh, that's yes, yes. yes. Yeah. We need to applaud these naked lashes because like, they're so see, good. <laughs> right, like a visor. Like it's nice. So beautiful.